Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've posted, but I realized I'm gonna stop apologizing because I know that it's not gonna stop happening. <laughs> So, instead of dwelling on that, I'm gonna just get right into it. I have had a mouse in my kitchen for the last two weeks. I decided to call him Bob, but when I'm really angry, I call him Robert. And, um, it's been a... <laughs> it's been quite the experience. Um, I asked my Instagram followers if they would want to see a video about it, and they said, Yes! Except for like 2%. So like, you 2% click away from the video now. But for the rest of you! Here we go! For a little background story, I was sitting on my couch around two weeks ago and all of a sudden I heard like And I was like, what the hell is that sound? So I ran to the corner of my room and there was like a plastic bag that was like shaking <laughs> So I took out the plastic bags and I put them in my hallway Thinking that would be the end of it mm -mm. A couple days later I find out I have a mouse in my kitchen um, The first night that I heard him, I was literally so freaked out <laughs> That I was sitting on my table for like two hours and my parents live in Qatar which means that they're two hours ahead of time so I have English So I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning because my dad wakes up at 5.30 and then I called him <laughs> I was like, what do I do? Um, my dad had a good laugh, I did not, I was scared shitless and um, I was a little bit distressed you could say And every single time I came home, I was like ready for Bob to be there. So I'm like the wh the whipping out my phone, like ready to record. Guys, I think Bob is in here. Bob. Robert. I had heard that they didn't like the scent of peppermint. So I went like full on out and just bought like cotton balls of peppermint and just like threw them all over my apartment. And if you think I'm kidding, like I'm definitely not kidding. I have built a wall. There's no going around it. I even drenched my socks in it and went full on like ventilator mode. <laughs> Trying to like spread the peppermint smell. And then at one point I was sitting on my couch and he ran behind my art. Robert. He was an awesome roommate, but it was time for him to go. So, I decided to first get a trap that would keep him alive. Do you happen to have a mouse trap that's not gonna kill it? When you touch this, I'm just gonna get close. In the time being, I went and I got him some snacks. Is it ironic that I wanna buy you these mice instead? Would you like this? <laughs> I basically tried everything I could to just get him out of here in the most animal-friendly way possible. Nutella! Cause these nuts! These nuts? These nuts? Will you stop? Sweet popcorn! And we have a trap that's gonna keep Bob alive. Oh god, I can't do anything in life. Snacking is the most important. <laughs> Bless everyone who follows my YouTube channel. Like, why are you even subscribed? All right, it's totally fine. I got it. This is the worst decision of my life. I was trying to make him feel all comfortable. This would be your heaven. Okay, real talk. Who the hell walks? <gasps> this could be Bob's. They got one for rats, they got one for hamsters, but they don't got one for my mouse. Um, I felt bad taking him away from his family. You could be Bob's sister. I even had a couple sessions where I talked to him and I tried to talk some sense into him. You know I see you, right? I literally see your tail. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm not surprised that I found Bob hiding here. Um, I ordered another trap because Bob didn't seem to give a shit about my little trap. I came home and my trap is shut. But there is no Bob inside. Shit's about to go down. It's called the Villa Mouse. <laughs> I got two because in case Bob brings a companion. They tell you it's pretty important to like wear gloves. really unsanitary. It 
it's fine. Do you even know how to do anything in your life? Oh, hell yeah. All right, guys, we gonna look at the instructions. All right, this seems pretty easy. I don't really understand what's happening. I'm gonna break it. I already know. I have something in my eyeball. Uh, so I'm just supposed to slide this out. Why do they make that look so easy? It's not that hard. You just put up a trap. This is a lie. It's all a lie. Maybe this mouse is gonna tell me a little bit more. Nope. Why is this so complicated? Honestly, the entire video is just gonna be me trying to opening this. Trying to opening? Oh wait, I got it. Ugh, nope. Just kidding. I low-key hurt myself, but that was very much worth it. We're ready for the popcorn. Thanks. And put it right in here. I guess I just push it back in. <laughs> Wait, so what's gonna happen if he steps on this? Here we go. And put it like this. I have one trap right here. I got one right over there. And I got one here. This is the one that I bought in the very beginning, which uh, didn't work, but I'm gonna keep it there anyways for aesthetic purposes. Oh my god, I fully caught it. That never happens. <laughs> no, I got way too cocky. Damn it. Bob <laughs> is nowhere to be found. I honestly don't know whether he like heard our conversation and decided to just not show up anymore. I hope he's not smart enough to overhear this conversation and then not walk into the trap because he knows that I've placed it. Eventually, last night was a lucky night and Bob got stuck inside. It's currently three o'clock in the morning on a Friday night um, and I was sleeping and I heard shit in the kitchen so I was like, oh my god, Bob is back. But this time I caught him. It looks like he's in jail. And now I feel super bad because I don't know what to do because it's like 3 o'clock in the morning and I don't want to leave him here all night but it's also way too late for me to casually leave the house and try and find another place for him. Maybe he feels more comfortable in the dark. You won't be okay, Bob. And I felt really bad but I didn't know what to do. So then the next morning I woke up. Hey, Bob. Oh no, his nose is bleeding. I'm literally gonna cry. I'm just gonna casually... Don't be scared. No, don't run. It's okay. Yeah, all right, Bob. Here we go. Nobody knows that I'm walking around with a fucking mouse in my bag. And I called a friend of mine and we went to go bring him out to the wilderness. And then... How are you? Are you ready to go on a field trip? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my god. Yo, this is not a Bob. This is more of a Robert. The posh treatment it's getting. I was thinking, should I put some like leaves in there? Is that so popcorn? he. Yeah. We're gonna walk across the bridge and we're gonna find a nice little grassy area and we're gonna pump him. You know? What if he grew up in the sewer? Well, he like carpet burned his nose. So it's like bleeding, you know? So I oh. wanted to go by the vet and get cream. <laughs> and literally. Why would you get cream for the mouse? You're too nice. I'm literally crying. <laughs> I think you're so nice. <laughs> She's just too nice. I didn't want to take Bob on the bus because he can't pay for a ticket. So we're walking across the bridge and we're just going to drop him off like over there. There's some. That's just kidding. Over there. I kind of want to show Bob, but I think he's just going to be distressed. Bob, are you okay in there? Depending on the website that you're reading, either you have to leave them like a kilometer away or like six kilometers. So I decided to go like in the middle and go for like two. That's not really the middle, but like math. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Bob! Oh my god, that must have been like an earthquake. I honestly think it would be best if we just go over there. Wait, there's a dog. That's not a good idea. <laughs> because at least then there's some shadow. I feel like I'm scared if I leave him there. It's gonna be too... <laughs> now you're scared he's gonna get sunburned? Yeah, man, his nose is exposed! <sighs> yeah, struggles. <laughs> 
he's not very talkative right now. He's just completely in distress. Also, have you realized like, I have put Bob on legitimate timeout right now? Let's just see if he likes the area, okay? Because I don't want to force him to do something he doesn't want to do. <laughs> Alright, Bob. Oh, he took a lot of shits in here. I really think that it's going to be too, like, exposed. <laughs> Dr. Freddy is on it. Freddy. Yes. He's so cute. Let him out like this? Yeah, I think so. He just how do you do I'm it? I'm gonna open this side. Oh. Let him out that way. Away from us. But then we can't see him come out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? He's not gonna run at you, Luke. He's more scared of us than he is of anything else. Oh, I'm glad you believe that now. What if we tilt it a little? It could be like a fun slide. Oh, not the dog, not the dog. Mouse? Yeah. Do you think this is a good place to put him? No. He must be so scared. Luke, I don't know what to do. Bob, listen. I had a good time with you. But it's time to go home now. Oh, his nose. Oh, baby. Okay, wait, here. I got it, I got it. Hey, Bob. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, Bob, run. We need him to go closer to, like, feed him. No, he's just gonna run. Go, Bob. Go for it. Go! We let him go. And, of course, I got really sad and I cried because he was my roommate and I just wasn't ready to let him go. It's okay. You're his family. No, I'm actually really sad. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> you spend a lot of time with Bob, huh? Yeah! So, Bob is in a better place. <laughs> that makes you sound like he just died. <laughs> Before I start going into full-blown tears, what did we learn today? You don't have to kill the mice. Just you displace can, them. You can catch them and put them somewhere else. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time! <laughs> okay, go for it. Schnitzel out. Hell yeah. you. Oh my god. I literally just caught a second one as I'm editing. I'm pretty sure it's Bob's baby. Okay, I'm gonna call this one George. And so it begins. This is ridiculous. It's two o'clock in the morning and I'm going the exact same path that I did a couple hours ago. Maybe if they are actually family, they can find each other. I look like I died about three times in a row. Come on. Don't be stubborn, please. Oh, there you go. I'm so scared that George is gonna freeze to death out here, but I don't really know what else to do, so I have to get over it. You have got to be kidding me. So I slept like three hours, and I'm sitting here in the morning editing my video, and Susie shows up. Welcome to the fam. They also say that it could be that he got some friends coming along, so I'm gonna keep up the traps for a little bit and um, Maybe I'm gonna catch some of his Classmates, I might as well just fast forward the next 20 seconds It's time to come out now There we go round three complete I hope you liked today's video and schnitzel out. Be kind to each other. Bye! Fuck. Alright, well, this is the fourth mouse within two days. I'm running out of names for you guys. Here we go! I'm finally home. I can't wait to sleep. Are you f I got another one. I have uni in four hours. <laughs> I think I should just call him schnitzel. And say schnitzel out. At least by now I know the drill. <laughs>